できないキャラだなんてちょっと見直しちゃったさすがアイリーン様が選んだだけはあるわだからクロード様<笑>内緒謎は主人公が暴いて成敗しなきゃ This anime is just so good. And I think the thing that makes me the most sad is that there's just not enough people watching it. Like, there's not enough people, like, talking about this anime, watching it, covering it, reacting to it. Like, there is just a very small niche group of people who have been sh shown or watching the anime who are, like, avid fans of it but it's like such a small group of people like if i look at even like on youtube and i search yeah there's there's a few uploads of people just simply re-uploading the episode you know trying to get those views but i'm talking about people actually like sitting here talking about it singing his praises or being negative just in any fashion about the show and i think that's one of the the biggest things so if you're watching this video right now you know tell your friends you know tell your people in your discords tell people in your slacks tell people on your twitter on YouTube, whatever it is, you know, people in real life, you know, if, if they have an interest in anime, you know, obviously, these, these, the people you tell have to have an interest in anime, you know, if they don't have an interest in it, you know, it's a, it's a hard sell to anybody who's just not interested in anime, but if you know people, you know, like, share, be like, hey, you guys need to be watching this this season, just go watch it on your free time, because it's just so good, like, it's an incredible anime, and every single week, like, I am not disappointed by the comedy, by the stakes, by the storytelling, by the character or world building, it does it all fantastically. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to talk about episode number 11. And I have to know, did you also, did you get emotional when you saw Almond fall? Like, I saw Almond get hit, you know, Almond broke out of his jail or, you know, whatever, however Elphys had Almond ca captured you know, the moment that Eileen started to spew some BS, right? Because, uh, you know, she want, she she had Almond's safety top of mind. Almond's like, F this. He broke out, and he's like, no, she's lying. Don't believe her. Uh, you know, because he, he doesn't want to. He, Almond has such a high view of Eileen that even Almond knows that he's that she's perfect for Claude. Like, they make the perfect. So he, she, he has a strong... Uh, I don't want to, the word's not dependency, but he has such a strong like belief and such a, a good relationship with Eileen that he does, he also doesn't want to see her hurt. So he put himself in harm's way, and you know he got hit by Elphis or whatever. And like I I got like emotional. I was like, no, not Elman. Like I think I felt myself like you know send me like my eyes got watery, like send me tear up. I was like, not Elman, no, not my Elman. Uh, and then obviously in that moment, like the shock of seeing Elman, uh, you know, get hurt, kind of like. Like, uh, Claude's eyes change colors, which is really weird, but basically, like, his demon senses kind of, like, came back in that moment. It's kind of, like, whatever voodoo Lilia put on him and then his demon side, like, it's kind of, like, fighting with each other in those moments. So, uh, he came back for a moment, you know, Eileen was able to get away and, um, you know, all that that happened. Uh, one of the things that I did want to convey, though, to you guys is, like, I am, uh, not a fan uh, at all like I am not a fan at all of the storyline that Claude and uh that Claude and uh and Cedric mom has some kind of vendetta against Eileen like every moment that she has basically she wants to execute kill remove Eileen and I kind of like really hate that because I'm like why do you have this vendetta and like why do you have this vendetta against Eileen like what is actually uh causing it you know for her to really just want to kill is is it Lilia's influence or is there something else because in this moment she acted like the antithetical you know, background NPC type character who does seemingly doesn't matter. And that kind of extends to uh, Pierre, which is Cedric's and Claude's dad as well. He kind of just acted like, oh, my wife said this. Like, yeah, let's, let's execute her. 
Whereas a lot of the other characters, you know, like Isaac and her retainers, uh, you know, Cedric and obviously Lilia, some of the other characters that we've been introduced to, this Alphys guy, you know, they, they seemingly act as people, right? But then you have these characters who, who really do act like background characters, and it's very interesting. Uh, the rest of the episode could basically be summed as like this. Uh, Eileen is still angry. She refuses to go to the ball. Um, you know, because she slapped Claude, he continues to think of her. He can't get her out of her mind. Uh, you know, she acknowledges that men are hunter by na- hunters by nature. Uh, she ends up getting convinced to go to the ball by all men and everybody around her. She goes to the ball wearing a duck outfit. Absolutely hilarious. Freaking love that. Uh, Claude ends up carrying her off, literally. He says that, that he loves her. He says all this sweet stuff to her. Eileen's like, do you think I'll just forgive you if you say that? He's like, yes. And she's like, ah, she gets so pissed. I, fuck, I freaking laughed so hard at that. Uh, Claude went back to being like smooth and debonair. And then uh, the whole entire execution stuff happens because we, we find out that Elphis has actually been an insider working for, seemingly working for Lilia, uh, that we that we have it there. And at the end of the episode, we see Lilia probably reproduce what happened originally with Claude, which is putting her sword, which we thought she didn't have access to anymore. So putting her holy sword next to him, I guess maybe the magic, and then putting some demon stuff on him. So I guess we have to wait until next episode to see kind of what happens there. But we know Lilia is masterminding uh, everything. And I'm telling you guys, you know, at some point, if Eileen wants to remain in this world unafflicted, she's going to have to, she's going to have to, Lilia, you know, she's going to have to go. And I hate to say that, but she's going to have, she's, she's either going to have to be heavily imprisoned, like birdcage style, or like, you know, Eisen from Bleach, like just like, or she got to go. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below. As always, though, I appreciate you guys being here. Another 10 out of 10 episode. I freaking love this episode so much. So good. This anime is just so good. So share it with your friends. All right, my friends. I'm going to talk to you guys next week, next Saturday. Have a great weekend. Peace.